Abbey wanted the world, and it shows itself at its best. The fields, the flowers. But you can't afford to rest. The voices pursuing her, they slowly subdue. To wind stroking grass, cricket orchestras, sounds all so new. Stone by stone, tree by tree. World without commands, it's strange to be free. The evening sky paints the air, colouring over Abby's despair. Sunbeams tingling with warmth, inviting you, continue forth. The world is beautiful, Abbey. Look at its colors. Take it in while you can. Enjoy the wonders. It's just a windmill standing still, perhaps envying you for your free will. It is what it is, a stubborn wooden thing. Still, you can't get past it with your strings. Look, Abby, that poor cow sure looks thirsty. Help the poor thing, give it a drink. Then you can pause and give your problems a thing. Your thin little threads are the windmill's might. It doesn't take a genius to know who wins this fight. That's the way. The mill waves Abby goodbye, its arms swinging high in the sky. For my angel, I command the ground not to be painful. Little Abby stops with a shiver. If you want to be free, you'd have to cross the river. Crossing a line, leaping too far, it's human. I'm here to catch you when you've done something stupid.
Abby, Abby, charmingly naive. You can trip and fall, but not if you believe. Worst comes to worst, you can count on me. Those strings on your hands are wings, you see. So much for adventure. Second thoughts, little girl. Turn back. Your cage certainly misses its runaway Oh, Onward, Abby. Where's your spirit? Or have you got homesick so soon? Abby, concentrate. Nobody's that dense. Resourceful little lass. Where there's no bridge, she uses her class. Uh oh, without tools, determination comes up empty. May I lend you a strength, lest fatigue be too tempting? See, you can trust me. A hunter's cabin. A light looks inviting, eh, hey, Abby? Warm and bright. Oh, wouldn't that be fabulous? The old wolf is dying. Leave him in peace. His travels are over. Yours are yet to be. A girl who moves windmills will certainly manage to get a little cart out of the way.
Mm, Abby, what are you doing? The... the strings? What are you doing with the strings? Stop that. The wolf has lived his life. Let him be. What the? What did I tell you? You have to do what I say. If you don't listen to me, I can't help you. Got it? What do we care what's happened to a wolf? The wolf is yonder to become dog fodder. And who freed him from the planks? Heroic Abbey. Yet not a single word of thanks. The trees block Abbey with wooden claws, but they're afraid they'll burn their paws. Mud, thunder and lightning are terrible opponents. Poor little Abbey has to endure some trying moments. Alone in the world, she runs wildly about, while the embers of freedom are slowly doused out. Well, well, Abbey, the world isn't all campfires and song, eh? Aye, it's a sorry state of affairs. Abby, Abby, you know you can't crawl under anything. You know very well it catches your strength. You seem surprised that rain comes from the heavens. Are you likewise surprised that water makes you wet? This torch is all you've got, Abby. I've heard tales of creatures in these woods. Dangerous vermin, up to no good. The hideous legs, ready to devour you, catch you in her web. Good. Fire seems to do the trick. She doesn't like your torture bit. Well done. You forced her retreat. Don't try your luck. I recommend you flee. Perhaps this tree can be of use.
it's raining. Well, you certainly seem to feel confident at the end of my strings. Your torch, Abby. It's going out. The fire's gone out. How are you going to light your torch now? Wire acts from the surface, sure. Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> Abby, do you see how much you need me? This is no place for you. What you couldn't manage, someone else could do. Oh, Abby, what have you gotten yourself into? Doesn't look trustworthy to me. Careful. Tiptoe away, Abby. Quiet. Whoever is able to slay a spider like that is possibly not the most compassionate. That... that's a ringmaster. All decked out in a dark forest? And conspiratively whispering with who? About what? Oh my, it's Tonda, the merciless plunderer. He's the one who tore the spider asunder. Abby's weight in gold shall be yours if you bring her back through my circus doors. Since she's gone, my world has gone black. Damn it, I want the little brat back. The ringmaster pleaded, the ringmaster whined, but Tonda just laughed and sipped his wine. Remember the bear? We caught him in a day without further ado. A little lost juggler girl won't cost but a few. Ringmaster, have your reward ready. We'll bring your Abbey back just as I told. Get ready, men. 
We'll be bathing in gold. The mercenaries and thieves gather round Tonga, as hungry and determined as a huge anaconda. Their leader is big enough for two, strong enough for five. They'll do anything for a buck and more to survive. Abby, did you hear that? Those guys are dangerous. You ran right into his arms. That looked painful. Without some smarts up in your crown, all the muscle in the world would only weigh you down. Once you sneak past certain death, it's easy to believe that life lies ahead. But Abby, you thought your luck had turned, but in fact, it's merely whimpered and squirmed. And now, only thickets too thick for a girl. So where is this oh-so-beautiful world? Dangers lurking in that swamp, Abby. Smell that, Abby? That's death. The world's perfume.
It's Thunder and his gang. Run, Abby. Run for your life. You can't get away. Thunder calls through the woods. It's Thunder and his gang. Run, Abby. Run for your life. Can't get away. Thunder calls through the woods. Watch out! Or have you grown so accustomed to me helping? Thunder grunts and rains. Abby's nowhere to be found. He's not used to having his prey escape the hunting grounds. A moment of grace can have an exorbitant price. Abby's freedom is at the roll of the dice.